Hello there, Runner, and welcome to another Tuesday, which means it's time for another Live Watches Nagatoro. Oh, boy. So, uh, we're here with chat again. Say hi to YouTube chat. And if you want to join us on Mondays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, you can come on by where we're gonna watch some, where we watch anime and we talk about random bullshit for for quite a long time. Um, but mostly the anime, I, 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 I say, with a straight face. Um, and that's at twitch.tv forward slash live the cyberdoll, which is linked right up there if you're on YouTube. So, <laughs> hello internet and welcome to game theory. Uh, so, uh, on the last episode of Nagatoro, uh, we had a role reversal. So, Senpai was sick and Nagatoro had to come and take care of him instead of, as opposed to the episode before. Uh, and... Uh, Senpai had a vision of the future with his- with his wife. Oh jeez, I wonder who the wife was. Um... And this episode is called, uh, What is Your Fortunes This Year, Senpai? And... So I think this is going to be a New Year's episode, which... It's kind of wild, because we had a New Year's episode last year, I think. Sorry, last year. <laughs> Yes, last year we had a New Year as well. That's last year we last season we had a New Year's episode. So that means that two years have passed. Doesn't that mean the senpai is going to be graduating soon? Because isn't he like a isn't he like a sophomore? Isn't he like a sophomore? Oh so like or do Japanese schools work in a fucking weird way? I have no idea, but. Let's get in here and let's see what's going on. Uh, I'm going to be watching on Crunchyroll. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a link to the uh, funny anime site of my choice in the description. And you can follow along, but the subtitles and the timer will be right here. So let's get going in three, two, one, and go. God, did is all they eat fucking pu like pudding and fruit salad? Oh my god! Bath salts, the perfect gift for someone from Florida. Oh, God. Nagatoro's big sister is such an absolute fucking cunt. I love her. Look. Look. Nagatoro. Jesus Christ. Look, Nagatoro, top tier. Top tier waifu. Nagatoro's sister, however has ascended beyond the, t the tier system. Namely that I'm pretty sure she's legal. <laughs> oh, I can't make that joke, fuck. I oh, it's too late now, I can't cut it out. I can't, I can't cut it out. I, I can't, I can't cut that joke out, fuck. Oh well. Ugh. This opening is kind of a bop, though. Oh, I, don't, I don't got anything else to say. Like, this, this is just a really cool fucking opening. Um... Did we lose connection? I swear to god. Uh, it'll- it'll fix itself, I think. Uh, 
Oh boy, the Christmas episode! Hooray for the Crimbum episode! Ah, uh, oh, it'd be funnier if it was hit her dream, though, wouldn't it? Another gross dream. Hanging out with women? Hanging out with women? Gross! Ah... <laughs> uh... So, oh, she's really leaning into the romantic angle, isn't she? <laughs> so here's the thing, is she excited about it because it's romantic or because she knows she can make his life hell because it's romantic? I feel like her love language might actually be making people miserable, and you know what? Valid. Ah, <laughs> uh, hand over the gift and book it and leave her with her feelings. You fool! Oh, that is the face of evil. That might actually be the face of evil right there. <laughs> the superior pairing there would be if they were dating each other. Just saying. Just saying. Giving them, like, like you know, faceless hentai protagonists as boyfriends. This is not the own that this, 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 this show thinks it is. It just means that their boyfriends have no fucking personality. God, she looks so fucking awkward. I love that. The fools. Uh, uh, eto... <laughs> Everyone's aware of it but them. Oh my god. Everybody in Nagatoro's friend group is a cunt, and I love it. I will point out, when I say cunt, it's got the, it's got the parentheses affectionate. Look, game recognize game, alright? Cunt recognize cunt. <laughs> Let's go to the Sexnasium, Senpai! <laughs> for, totally, for totally different reasons that are not related to each other at all. He's trying his best. He's trying his best, the poor boy. Hit her with it! Hit her with it! Hit her with it! It weighs about seven pounds. Hit her in the face with it. I do love the way they draw Nagatoro's hair in, like, close-up shots. Like, they go out of their way to show that she... <gasps> Why is she naked?!
This bitch needs to go to prison. Holy shit. Like, she is college age, and she's stripping naked in the middle of a fucking... In the middle of a fucking high school. I think she might actually be due to be fucking arrested. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ. God, she is just she is just an absolute fucking like shadow demon, huh? God, they're just fucking right there in the nurse's office. Holy shit. Jesus Christ. Being an alo be being an aloe should be illegal. It's straight up. Being, being an a sorry, everyone who's not ace, sorry, uh, your existence is now illegal because you're too goddamn horny. Too goddamn horny. And the rooftop's gonna be full of people, isn't it? Can't legally stop you. Mm, I can try, damn it. Yeah, everybody's gonna be on the roof at sunset, you fucking idiot. Jesus. The fact that they have, like, school up to and including Christmas Eve is, like, really fucking weird to me. Like, is that common in places outside of Japan? Like, unironically, like... Like, even, even like, back in England, because this is in America, too, like, like, school ended, like, at least a few weeks before Christmas, because it was like, alright, yeah, have your Christmas break. Like, Christmas is in, like, two weeks. None of you are gonna fucking learn anything anyway. Get the fuck out. <laughs> they cut each other's scarves. <laughs> oh, precious babies. Ah, so now a ghost story of a naked woman is going to just haunt the fucking school. Mm-hmm. Friend. Friend. Friend, wife, you know, it's the same root word in Japanese, probably. Yeah, she's wearing the scarf! He's in. He's in. He's in. <laughs> it feels like she might be projecting a little bit on this one. I don't know, Chief. God, she literally just has a predator's smile. Like, she's like, yes, you fool. 
Walk into my web, little caterpillar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> God, I swear to God. You know what you really appreciate? What? What do you appreciate? Lion dog! Hell yeah, lion dog. Relationship fortune? Yeah, no, get the relationship fortune, you fucking sad fuck. Let's go! Shrine Maiden Nagatoro! God, I... I met a guy. I met a guy online, like, a few days ago. Unironically, just, like, start just... No fucking, like, no fucking, like, like... Upfront anything. Like, we were just kind of talking about, like, anime and shit, like, in a server. And then, like, he's just kind of like, Oh, man, you know what I really like? When girls are wearing Shrine Maiden outfits. Like, the guy just starts talking about his Shrine Maiden fetish. Like, in the general chat of a server. And I'm just like, alright. If this is the, like, I'm just gonna leave the server. Like, holy shit, that is... Bro, what the fuck? Like, is that a common thing? Just like, are people just really horny for Shrine Maidens? For like... Oh shit, our boy has an or has a mouth fetish. Ah oh, shit. Lots of people in the Christian nun You know what? That's fair. It's probably just a weeb version of a nun fetish. That's very fair. Miko outfits. <laughs> I mean look, I'm not judging. I'm not judging. If you've got a shrine maiden fetish, you can have that fetish all you want. But like it just really fucking like, in the middle of a general chat, like... Just my man just be like, Oh man, I just wanna fuck a girl in a Shrine Maiden outfit. Like, bruh! <gasps> oh, fuck. Yeah, I feel like if I lived in Japan, I would never go anywhere near these fucking shrines at the new year. Because, like, straight up, just kind of like... Knowing my luck, every single year I get bad fortune. Just be like, oh! So that's how my year's starting, and it would just ruin the entire fucking year for me. Like, I'm not even superstitious, but just being told that your year is going to suck on day one... Is... Probably not, like, the best fucking thing. Won't happen unless you take action. <laughs> Sounds judgy. I'm not judging people. I'm just saying, like, bruh, it's a general chat. It's like walking in the middle of a town square, you know? Just walk into a town square and just shout, Man, I wanna fuck someone in a nun outfit! And look how many dirty looks you get. You know what I mean? Like, shit. Walk in the middle of town square and see it. <laughs> Fucking aloes! Are the- wait, are the bad fortunes just a scam to sell good luck charms? <laughs> no, 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 do it! Do it, coward! Do it, coward! Do it, coward. Do it, coward. Do it, coward. <laughs> God, like, actually, I...
<laughs> Give me 20 minutes? Hell yeah, he's in. Look, if a girl loves you enough, you can be as creepy as you fucking want. Oh god, I shouldn't say that, because someone's gonna take that real. Oh no. Kiss, 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 kiss. I swear to God. I want these chuckle fucks to kiss. God damn it. <laughs> shit, that's exactly what he was going to wish for. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can help all, you can't bonk me, I am unbonkable. <laughs> I'd rather not depend on the gods, like Jesus Christ. This is the most anime shit, oh my god, I'm so down. Just say yes or no, Nagatoro, you fucking shit! So I guess, here's the question. So, like, putting your hands together and praying, is that a thing that, like, the J Japanese were already doing when the Christians showed up, or is that a thing they yoinked from Christianity? Because, like, praying like this is, like... It started with the... It started either with the Christians or with the Jews, I think. I'm not sure which. Like, at least in Judeo-Christian shit. They were already doing it. Okay. Damn, Christians can't even come up with their own fucking prayers. Can't believe it. Oh, it's different? Started with the Jews, okay. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Oh, uh, no, that's totally what she wished for. That's totally what- that's totally what she fucking wished for. That is 110% what she wished for. She was fishing for a response. The fingertips of your left hand go lower. So like... It, so like- so like this? My, my model's hands have different proportions than my actual hands, so, like, I'm, I'm trying to, like, match it up. Like, so, like, this. Minus the clipping, I guess. I was like, clap, clap, bow, clap. Oh, okay. So just, like, okay, so clap, clap, bow, clap. Alright. Man, that's like... Fuck. That is like... in That is like immediately cooler. Jesus. Like, I don't want to like get into like that whole thing of like... Like that meme, you know? Like... You know, like that, that, that... You know, you know that meme where it's just kind of like... Bad thing. And then again, then you've got like, like a... Like a, a Wojak going like a smug face, like... 
And then you have, like, bad thing, comma, Japan. And you have a Wojak going... You know? But, like, goddamn, that is in infinitely cooler. Because, like, regular Chris... Hi, Kia. Because, like, regular Christianity, you just kind of put your hands together, like... Uh, hey, God, can you smite that fucker, like, two fields over? He's a goat fucker. But, like, Japan, you gotta, like, put your whole fucking titties in there. You gotta be, like, clap, clap, bow, clap. Hey, yo, God, smite that fucker in that rice paddy over there. He's a bastard. And he fucked my goat. <laughs> Shinto isn't really a bad thing. I don't like religion, period, so... But, regardless, uh, episode good, show good. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna get into, like, the, like, r slash atheism shit. I'm not gonna do that. Like, like I said, like, like, I'm very much, like, a, like, thing of, like, okay, you know, you like this thing, cool. That's on you. I'm not a big fan. You're Shinto? Okay, cool. Like, I was using the meme format. I was using the meme format, Moira. You don't gotta get offended at it. Like, Jesus. Um... Okay, so... Hmm. <laughs> so this episode, I really liked it, but I wish they had kissed at the end. But I think I say that about every episode. <laughs> oh, like at this point, we're like two seasons in, and I'm just like, everybody knows! Yes, everybody knows that these two are dating. Okay, what the fuck? Alright, uh, so... Yes. So, like, everybody knows that these two are dating. Um... But, except for them. And, like, that is, to me, like, I think the funniest thing about this show. Because this show, like... Like I was saying, like, before we even started recording. Um, the... Like, this show is very, very non-lewd. But, like, occasionally you'll, like approach a lewd topic like Sakura and her boyfriend like just fucking in the nurse's office or the president just walking around a high school nude like what the fuck and the protagonist instead of engaging with it are just so like they are so like awkward like even Nagatoro who like put like posits herself as like hyper confident they both get really uncomfortable and they just fucking book it um and that to me I think is the funniest thing because I think that's how like a normal person would respond, or... You know what I mean? Like, like, I don't know, like, I... I'm ace. I don't really have, like, a, like, a good... Good, like, barometer for how a normal person responds to shit like this. Uh, but... But I, 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 th I think this is really neat. I think this is cool. Um... The... Like, the entire, like, I mean, there's not really a ton to dig into here. Like, I mean, like, I, I can try and dig and dig and dig and dig. You know, I can just dig as deep as I want. But, um, the... But I don't want to, like, say shit that's just kind of me pulling stuff out my ass. Uh, I mean, visually, this episode's really great. It's always looked really great. I really love the detail they've been putting on Nagatoro's hair for, like, the last few episodes. Like, anytime we've had, like, a close-up shot where, like, Nagatoro was, like, the sole focus of Senpai, which... Happens a lot more often lately because he's kind of starting to come around to his feelings a little bit. Um, like, you can see, like, a lot more detail that you otherwise wouldn't. Like, you can see, like, the individual texture of her hair versus it being just kind of, like, a singular hair blob that, like, generally you have in anime. Just, like, hair blob, maybe you got some curls. Um, and then you've got... Yeah, they don't do, like, the cringe tsundere thing. They don't. It's No, it's very clear that she likes him, but she teases him because that's her love language. And that's fair. That's valid. She's just... Yeah, she's just mean. But but she's mean in a sweet way, though. So that's... I don't know. I think she's cute. I think I think the way she acts is kind of cute. Um... Like, yeah, like, like whenever, like, she's, like, the main... And, and they, don't, they don't do it, like, all the time. Whenever she's the main focus of Senpai... Like, you can see, like, the texture of her hair, you can see, uh, like, a lot more details on her face. Like, like, essentially, they, like, they, they narrow in, it's like, right, this is senpai vision. This is what senpai is seeing, and senpai is seeing her with a lot more fidelity and detail than we do. 
because he's fucking in love with her. He just doesn't know how to address it because he's a stupid fucking idiot. No, oh, pardon me. I think I drank too many gamer subs. Um, he's a stupid fucking idiot who does not know how to control his hormones. Fucking idiot. Just buy your hormones at the hormone store, like the rest of us. <laughs> um, um... But, uh, but yeah, I, I think this was a good episode. Uh, generally, I'm not a giant fan of shrine episodes because, <sighs> okay, so I know this is not, like, super common, but, like, I, every show that I've watched that has had a shrine episode, it's been an advertisement for the shrine because it's like a real-world shrine, and like, the entire episode is characters breaking character, essentially, to be like, Ah oh, yes, and this is the blah 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 shrine. This shrine is known for blah 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 and blah blah blah. People come here at New Year's to get blah blah blah. It's well known for having super accurate fortunes and blah 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 blah. And it's just kind of like... Okay, so why is this character, who lives in this town, and most likely has gone to this shrine... Like... Every year since they were born... Giving a sales pitch to a similar character who was, at the same time, has lived in this town for their entire life and probably does, has gone to this shrine a shit zillion times. What shows have I seen that in? Um, got a lot of, uh, I'm gonna be honest, Moira, I watch a lot of trash. I watch a lot of trash on this channel, on the channel, so fuck. Uh, I believe that... <sighs> Fucking, uh, Komi-san did it, actually. Komi-san fucking did it, which was weird. Komi did it. Like, I know I know that. Like, and it's like the one episode of Komi that I was like, oh, this is kind of garbage. Because it came across as an advertisement for the shrine. Um, didn't Dragon Maid do a shrine episode? I don't think it did. I don't think it did. I might be misremembering that one. Um, fuck. I don't know. I don't know. Like... Like, I'm going to be honest, I watch so many anime- It's why I'm trying to cut down the amount of anime I'm watching on the channel at any one time, so that they don't just fucking blend together into a vaguely amorphous moe blob. <laughs> Point being, a lot of shrine episodes focus so much on the shrine, it feels like an advertisement for the shrine. Versus, like, focusing on the characters, being at the shrine. In a lot of shrine episodes, it feels like the shrine takes... Uh, hey, what's up, Danny? Uh, it feels like the shrine takes precedence over the actual characters themselves at the shrine. That's what I'm getting at. And to me, it comes across as an advertisement for the shrine, but I think really what it is, is I think it's a cultural... I, I, th I think it's a, a cultural uh, deference, I think. I, I think it's kind of like, just because, like... Spirituality, I think, is a really big thing in Japan, I think. Or at least from what I've heard. I've never been to Japan, so yeah, I'm just going off like what I've heard from people who have been to Japan. So it's possible that what I'm seeing as advertisement is just the writers being deferential and being like, hey, yeah, this is important. I'm going to draw attention to it. Which is fine. Like, I imagine like there's probably like like if if anime was made in a Christian country, you would probably have an episode where they go to church and the church is the main character versus the characters being the main characters. Um, like, cool, Banavader, neat. But yeah, like, I have to remember that, that a lot of these shrines are 500 plus years old. I mean, that's fair. Some locations they're using anime sometimes at the tourism board that's involved. That's true. Like, but the thing, point being, this this show did a shrine episode that did not feel like a tourism advertisement. Or, 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 or like, or like it, it felt like the shrine was there, and they said, like, hey, this shrine is known for this. It's known for matchmaking. Cool. It's, it, but it's also thematically relevant to the show, and it's important. But the main characters of the show, of the, of the, of the section, uh, are still, are still Nagatoro and Senpai. It's not a matter of, 
Um... Yeah, 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 you're, you're right, Moira. Like, like, I mean, I imagine, like, Christian shows do it, too. Like, fucking, like, any show, like, made made by a Christian that takes place in a church. Like, the church is, like, a devout Christian. The church is gonna take center stage. And I, and I, I accept that. But the thing is, this show did something different. And this show... And this show went out of its way to ensure that the shrine, while still being, you know, forefront, is secondary to the characters and their conflicts and their motivations and their shit. So that's... Thumbs up for me. I like it. I think it's really cool. Um, the, the... The fact that they kind of set up, like, a, a thing as well between uh, Nagatoro's friends of just like, alright, here's the lonely bitch club, and here's the we're going to fuck in the nurse's office club. Which side are you on, Nagatoro? And, like, she and Senpai just felt so uncomfortable. They just fucking booked it. Um... Like, that, to me, I think, is the... Is the coolest thing. I think, to me, that is... that That is the coolest thing about the... About this episode. Um... The fact that, like... They're... Every single member of their friend group... Uh... Is aware... That... Like, they're dating, essentially, and they're spending a lot of time together, but they are not ready to accept it themselves, or or even they're just not aware of it. I don't, I don't, I don't know exactly where Komi and Senpai's head... Uh, not Komi. Uh, Nagatoro and Senpai's uh, headspaces are, uh, but it definitely feels like... It definitely feels like they are, like, almost in denial, or they're, like, each one of them is waiting for the other one to say it first. And, I don't know, like, the scarf thing was really, really sweet. The scarf thing was really, really sweet. And I like that they both got each other, like, the same gift. And then in the next section, they both add that gift to their wardrobe. Like, you know, like, that's really sweet. Like, it's just kind of like, hey, I'm going out. I'm going to go to the shrine. What am I going to wear? Okay, I'm going to wear my coat because it's a little chilly. And I'm going to wear my scarf that I just got from my... Totally not girlfriend, totally not boyfriend. That's really sweet, and I like that a lot. It's like a, it's almost like oh, it feels like a subconscious thing on their behalf, and I think that's pretty neat, and I like that. That is really cool. Oh boy. But I think that is all I have to say about that. I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was neat, and uh, I. It's hard to get my thoughts together on this one because it's just good vibes the the show like just it good show it really sweet and it really cool and i like it a lot but that's all i got to say so if you're watching on youtube let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments whether you liked it you disliked it or if you want to bring up something i forgot to talk about um is this going on a streamer mode it should be on streamer mode it is on streamer mode i do not know what you're talking about on that um but Shit, you, you interrupted my flow, god damn. Uh, remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, share this video, all that good shit. If you want to catch us live, you can always come on to twitch.tv forward slash live the cyberdoll. We watch anime every Monday at 2, as well as like just kind of talk about stuff. And if you want to watch some of my other stuff, my schedule is, is on my community page and p uh, pinned on my Twitter. Oh, mm, boy. So, have a good one, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one, Rana. Bye bye. <laughs>